Here, we'll continue our study of local coordinate frames and see some more terms associated with it. But before we do that, let us look at one essential concept that will come handy. This is about two different observers at two different locations, but watching the same object and how their lines of sight would vary as the object moves away from them. So let me open one more window so we can watch these two observers closely. So let us actually vary this distance of the object from the observers and you would notice as this distance is increasing, the two lines of sight tend to align with each other. The angle between them reduces and tends to zero. And for a very far away object like a star, the angle would indeed become zero. It, the two lines of sight would be practically parallel. Even if the two observers happen to be diametrically opposite on the face of the earth. So let us apply that principle to these two observers, one on the North Pole and one on the equator of the Earth. And for this equatorial observer, we have also provided this little bubble through which the whole universe can be observed. And the common object that they are going to watch this time is the star Polaris. As you know, Earth's axis is a straight line and a straight line has to point somewhere in space. And the star Polaris just happens to be in its way. And therefore, we say Earth's axis is pointing towards Polaris, which is nothing more than an accident. But it means very special to these two observers. Now they are observing a very distant object, practically at infinity. And therefore, their lines of sight are going to be parallel to each other. Now, though these two lines of sight are parallel, they are going to mean very different things in the local frame. For example, over here, the observer on the North Pole, the pole star or the Polaris would appear overhead. While for this observer, the line of sight is practically flat to the ground. So he or she is going to say Polaris appears on the horizon. Let us take a closer look at it in this view. So this is that little bubble uh, we had through which we are watching the universe. And this time the observer is going to see the Polaris on the horizon, so somewhere on this circle. But where exactly? Well, let us see what is this direction. In terms of us earthlings, this direction is the north and therefore it will appear and on the northern horizon. So this is where the pole star would appear for our observer on the equator. Now suppose our observer at the equator decides to take a trip to the north pole. As he moves northward, his horizon is going to change its direction because horizon is always in a plane tangential to the Earth's surface. But that is not the case with the line of sight towards Polaris. It is pointing towards an object at infinity and therefore it's not going to change its direction. It may shift but it will never tilt. And therefore this will produce a relative motion between the line of sight through at which we see the Polaris and the horizon. As we move towards the north, the line of sight which was flat to the ground on the horizon is now going to rise above it. Let us watch this phenomenon in this particular view. So this is our pole star and this is the line of sight. And as we go towards north, the Polaris is going to rise above the horizon. And as expected, when we reach the north pole, it's going to be bang at the zenith. Now suppose we mark the path of the pole star like this. Then uh, we can get a plane and uh, that plane is called meridian. Meridian is defined by these three points, the north, the observer and the zenith and it runs north-south. Then we can mark the position of the pole star uh, as its altitude, say 10 degree, 20, 30, 40 and so on. And as we go north, this altitude is rising. At the same time, as we go north, we are crossing these latitudes. So why not correlate the two? Uh, we take the altitude of the pole star and mark it as the latitude number itself. Uh, let's take an example. Suppose uh, we see the pole star at say 15 degrees here, altitude. Then that particular latitude at which uh, we are standing, we would call as 15 degree. Uh, up north again and uh, see the pole star at 30 degrees, that latitude will become 30 degree. So we are going to equate the altitude of pole star to the latitude at which we are standing. 